Hello, welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So today I'm going to be talking about the Rush series. This is a duology that I recently read and it's all about romance and it's a boss romance situation and we have um, Rush, he is an heiress and he inherited a lot of money and he has this country club situation where it's more of a restaurant bar and um, we have Gia and she's a struggling author and she decided to go to Hampton just to get some inspiration and hope to meet her deadline because um, you know she's run out of money. So with that Something interesting happened where she ended up working for Rush. But how she met him, she was not the typical person who was afraid of him. Absolutely not. She was such a, um, that person was like, um, was able to like say what's on her mind. But they had this interesting chemistry where they feed off each other and they were able to express themselves. And he liked that because then usually people are afraid of him. He can be a very aggressive and um, rude at times. So, you know, he was intrigued by her personality and it grew a friendship. And, um, and it went on for most of the book. Most of the book is them interacting, both getting to know each other, talking about personal things, and um, him having this thing where he wanted to give up certain things. If you get a cover, he's spoken, and that's another thing where you get to, you know, she had to influence him in, in, um, in that way of, you know, not smoking. But it was just completely innocent romance and it was of course there was sexual tension but there was no sex for the majority of the book there was no sex and but when it did happen it happened in a way where it was just beautifully written and I thought it was sexy but nice and spicy and of course in typical term Vikelin and uh, Penelope Ward they decided to add some drama and the drama came and this particular drama included um, a family member, which is, and it ended on a cliffhanger in the first one where you're wondering what's happening. The second book is all family drama. It's more, not so much romance, but family drama. How are we going to get past all these things that our family um, conflict has caused our relationship? How are we going to survive this development that happened in our relationship? And it, it, it was more fast-paced because of the drama. I found myself really into the second book a lot more because I wanted to know, oh wow, how are they going to handle this? But I was also annoyed. I was annoyed because... I get what the author was trying to do, but in reality, I don't know any a lot of men who will um, basically do the things that he did for love. And I find that there's a, there's certain um, discussion in a certain way that the character handled things that I when the character handled things, I was just like, <sighs> like what? So I struggle a little bit on certain parts of the book, but it was um, the fairy tale part that I found myself um, enjoying more versus like if this was real life, how would this you know pan out? But for me, I think um, it was more of a Penelope Ward story than it was a Viking. Like I felt more Penelope Ward when I was reading this, and it is so similar to something else that she's written. Um, this particular thing that happened in the book is very similar, even though the storyline is different, but I felt her energy more in the story and she tends to want to push the limits when she come up with these romance story because she wants this fairy tale, but she likes the drama and you can sense the drama in this story, which is what really gets you sucked in in the first place because it's definitely not the sex because there weren't that many sex scenes in none of these books, you know, um, these two books so um, it's definitely more of building a romance um, and getting to know the characters and how they are falling for each other that's pretty much the most the main focus but when they did have sex it was nicely <laughs> done and I was very much like all right get in there you know but I I just felt like it was just it was just a little fairy tale -ish. and there's nothing wrong with that so I loved it, but it was just, it had some fairy tale aspect to it that was, um, I don't know how realistic it would be in real life. And I kind of like when she writes stories that are, have a more realistic vibe to it versus, you know, this one. But I, I would say the ending was perfect. I mean, she got a 
thumbs up on the ending. The ending was like perfect. I love how it ended. It, it was just how it's supposed to be. And I, I enjoy that part of it. So definitely say if you're looking for a little romance but not too much sex scene, this is definitely it because it's not a lot of sex scene. Um, but when it does happen, it's up there. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.